this show when the Tin Can Brothers come out and they say their classic tin can phrase, I'm gonna need you guys to say, toss that can. Now you're probably asking, what is their classic tin can phrase? Well, I'll tell you, it's boys. What are we gonna do? <laughs> Well, I'd like to tear apart a little thing called the bird. 
Bernie. I wrote in Bernie on my presidential ticket. <laughs> and it's Democrats like you that cost us the election. <laughs> Shake with rigor mortis? <laughs> Help them, their upper body, it's frozen! Yeah, I look at this and I'm like, oh, hello, dancing is not about making your arms look like limp noodles, it's about energy, you know? Whatever happens, <laughs> get your back up off the wall! Get down, on it, get down, on it. But seriously, what is with kids these days? I really miss the cha cha slide! <laughs> Who are 
some of your influences that are working in the industry today. Right now, uh, Spencer Tracy. Bogart. Yield good. The Barrymores. And uh, Ronald Reagan. <laughs> have been dead for decades. <laughs> yeah, but they're still great. You know, think about it, with all this Netflix and Hulu and <laughs> Optimus Prime. <laughs> just give anyone a show. You probably have your own. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Like, not anyone. <laughs> you guys don't have your own show? This is our show. <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> scripted series in LA and like 120 out, out of work screen actors guild members. It's like the industry just keeps changing and changing and changing. I'm tired of it. Uh, listen, uh, Grandpa Dylan, uh, we're only uh, a few years younger than you. Yeah, this is like, relax, man. <laughs> okay, we are just going to go to a quick commercial break, uh, but when we get back, we're going to talk about working together on the Star Kids experience. Now, stay tuned because there's more of Talking Trash with Dylan Saunders. Yeah! <laughs> Uh, now 
with their eyes and ears, that is. That's right, folks. I'm talking <laughs> movies, TV shows, books, theater, music, and art. Because <laughs> you are what you eat. And I'm a little garbage boy. <laughs> <laughs> So, anyway, of course, we all loved your take on the beloved Dumble Dude, with a slightly Jewish sounding uh, flamboyant mentor to Harold in the Star Kids experience. So, Dylan, could you regale us some tales from the uh, world tour of that show? No tales from the world tour, sorry. But uh, I got tales from the war. Did <laughs> <laughs> you use your uniform? Uh, yes, oh. I did. Um, why I don't have hearing in this year is uh, military exercise. I didn't see combat, but military exercise right before uh, Pearl Harbor. <laughs> Dylan is only a couple years older than us. 
We went to college together. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, are you a medical expert? <laughs> no. You have like eight years of medical school? No. Oh, no, you just can't imagine a female doctor. <laughs> I absolutely did not mean that. Okay, well, then I will just call it out. Is that okay with you? Yes. Great. Um, cause of death, uh, natural causes, time of death now. <laughs> Yes, we're doing. I mean, 
<laughs> he, he is alive and well. I, in fact, just felt his breath on my shoulder. <laughs> Still wet on their hands, Joe, Brian, and Corey sit contemplating their actions with no idea of the chain of events they have in their emotions. find safety and solace in the comfort of their own studio. But out in the real world, their camouflage is useless. The seismic consequences of their decisions stick out like sore thumb. Hi, I heard you. I heard you say something. You said something to us in an accent, all right? She said something about us being in camouflage, okay? How are you doing that? How are you throwing your voice like that? Are you a ventriloquist? <laughs> Chill out, bro. Maybe you're a little dehydrated, too. A rare breed. A youthful exterior hides his alarmingly long life. Miraculously, experts believe that a Dylan in his thirties is actually close to two hundred years old. You're liar! You're liar! I'm fucking lying! You said one thing, and then it was the other. Hey, 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 hey! Have a pretzel, have a water. Hey, uh, uh, no, have a water. Uh, 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 okay, guys, do I need to pull this car over? I mean, keep me in the car. No, 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 no. It's fine. It's fine. releases 100 million tons of hydrofluorocarbons into the atmosphere every single year, greatly contributing to the warming of our planet and the eventual extinction of our species. Okay, fine, I got it! <laughs> Just open up the window! We'll have to excuse our friend. He just lost his... Okay. <laughs> whoa, whoa, hey, did you just litter? Yeah, yeah what's it to you? <laughs> But of course, it isn't fun. It is everything to a Lydia who drives Uber on the side in order to find her actors and work. Every year, 100,000 marine mammals are killed by plastics like flies. This littering will add to the combined 6 million tons of debris that enter our oceans every year. Approximately the weight of one million elephants. What? Jesus, Brian, one million elephants. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't hear her like how you did, Brian. That water bottle you just tossed is gonna kill a hundred thousand animals, man. Unbelievable. Hey, you know you know what I'm talking about. Back me up here, back me up. Oh, 
objects. Of course, many still don't believe global warming to be real. <laughs> At last, they've arrived. And we're here. Okay. Can you help me with the body? Hey, uh, listen. All that stuff. Uh, yeah, yeah, we'll take care of that. Um, all that stuff Joey was saying about my bottle destroying the environment, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, that's not right, is it? Uh, I mean, in all my time narrator. <laughs> Yeah, but I shouldn't feel bad about it, should I? <laughs> Saunders, Diane Saunders, DeConte Saunders. <laughs> all right, guys, let's just, uh, let's just get in and out of here and let's not make a sound, all right? But let's start by looking for a light switch. I can't see a damn Deal. thing. <laughs> guys, you're going to want to see this. A photograph of Dilla, Dylan in uniform. So he did serve in a war. From the War of 1812. <laughs> 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 Guys, you're gonna wanna see this. It's a negative pressure ventilator, or more commonly, an iron lung. How he sings so good when he breathes so bad. <laughs> Two bedpans. <laughs> that were filled with piss that's now in my shoe. <laughs> Sensible modern man. Yes. Hey Siri, turn on the living room lights. Siri looks Mondays, Wednesdays. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, but I don't know why you're 
apologies. I'm a bit testy tonight. No one signed him out, and what with his mind going, I thought maybe he wandered onto the highway or, or had a run-in with another mail truck. <laughs> Well, get your work. Every inch of his body isn't going to moisturize itself. <laughs> 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 alpha male status <laughs> to the group. Unfortunately, it was all in vain because no one is impressed. <laughs> it smells so good. Is it L'Oreal? They're my favorite cosmetics brand. Shame on you, boys! <laughs> that company is misleading to its customers, saying that its products are cruelty-free. If you sell a product in mainland China, your product is not cruelty-free. It is the Was Dylan 
born before uh, the establishment of Arbor Day by J. Sterling Morton in 1872. Yes, but did you have to Wikipedia that? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, would Dylan remember the Hindenburg? Oh, oh remember it? My idea, he was part of the team that designed it. <laughs> Don't tell him that. <laughs> There's no way he was there when the original frescoes were being painted in the Sistine Chapel. Oh, no. Oh. He left Italy after the fall of the Roman Empire. What? <laughs> Printing press? The Industrial Revolution? Made its first flight. And imagine, just imagine, being able to watch Tom Hanks go from being an unknown actor <laughs> to a big silver screen star and splash. No. <laughs> no, Dylan was not born yet to see Tom Hanks rise to stardom. That was his parents' generation. What? what? No, 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 no. Establishment of the New Orleans Jazz Fest in 1970. But none of this data doesn't add up. How could Dylan have served in World War II and also been born after Bobby Kennedy was assassinated? Oh, my brain is starting to hurt. I wonder if 
wonder if he has a Xanax over there in that pile of pills I can borrow. <laughs> <sighs> it's hard for me to admit this because many people view me as the whimsical, creative one in the group. But I am really a stickler for numbers. I mean, if we can't figure out how old Dylan is, how will we properly anoint his headstone? I assume he will want to be buried beside Cecil B. DeMille in the Hollywood Forever Cemetery. It's only right that his final resting place be beside his peers. Or maybe he'd prefer Forest Lawn Cemetery. A lot of the greats are there, too. If only Dylan had left a will with his final demands. That would have been pretty helpful right about now. Uh, Dylan would know what to say. Am I a bad man? <laughs> things in my face that I haven't said or meant. I mean, sure. Yeah, I tossed my empty water bottle out of the Uber window, but it's like, come on, can't a guy make one mistake? I'm under a lot of stress right now with the whole we killed our guest thing. And anyway, it probably landed right in a recycling bin. <sighs> well, I guess maybe it could have been washed into a storm drain and out into the Pacific <laughs> And then maybe a baby fish and a papa fish were playfully swimming by, and the baby swam right into my bottle. And maybe the wave shifted suddenly and my bottle popped above the water, exposing the baby fish to the cruel air, while its father screamed, thinking it was watching its firstborn asphyxiate. Oh, and maybe, just as suddenly, the wave shifted again, and the baby fish found itself free, and crying fish tears in its daddy's arms, alive. <laughs> but forever traumatized in needing years of therapy. And maybe, just maybe, that therapist was a woman. <laughs> I could really have someone to talk to right now. Whether he was sleeping or not, Dylan was always a good listener. I wish he were here. Dylan would know what to say. Well, one thing's for certain. I've gone mad. voices in your head after accidentally killing one's friend. Textbook madness. And I suppose it's my punishment for being such a fucking boring host at Bob Funny. I always thought my inner monologue would sound more like me or Steve Buscemi. <laughs> The fact that Joey would choose character actor Steve Buscemi as his internal voice showed clear evidence of his low self-worth. Are <laughs> <laughs> in here too? God, will I ever have a private thought again? The chance of Joey's life never being the same was unlikely. And so onward he went. In hey, hey, we're not done here. I need answers. Are you like... A manifestation of my subconscious fears? Is this like some kind of stroke? When Dylan died? Did I actually die? If so this must be hell. Or, or is this a heaven that I need to learn from? Wait, are you some kind of all-knowing presence? Oh, oh, are you God? <laughs> The narrator could neither confirm nor deny the existence of I knew it. I fucking knew it. <laughs> Shit, sorry, sorry. Oh man. Oh man. So this must mean I'm like a prophet or something, right? Do I think the Bible or anything? Is the Bible real or did like another religion get it right? I always thought Norse mythology was kinda cool. In an effort to progress the story, the narrator decides to move on. Wait, 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 hold on, don't go. Why me? Why did you choose me? Boys? Hello? <sighs> well, I guess this curse is actually a gift. Or it could be, if I used it for good. I wish I could confide in someone about this. Brian and Corey would just make fun of me and give me a wedgie. <laughs> he was wise beyond his years. Dylan would know what to say. 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 An email alert breaks the deafening silence. Joey, realizing it's coming from his own phone, decides to table his crippling insecurities for now. <laughs> Email with Dylan 
one self tape finally came through. <laughs> oh, he must have tried to send a large attachment when he wasn't on Wi Fi. <laughs> New. <laughs> Joe, listening to the narrator for the first time, knew what to do next. And he knew his choice would be true and just. Guys, this is Dylan's final performance. We have to watch it. I know it to be true and just. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Dylan Saunders, I'm 5'10", and I'm with DESC Talent. <laughs> it happened without a word of comfort from me. He died with the clear-eyed resignation that my most earnest exhortations have rarely produced in question. He left me sitting there by his bedside with the mystery of this world suddenly revealed to me. This world, sir, is very clearly a place of torment and penance. It's a place where the fool flourishes and the good and wise are hated and persecuted. This is a place where men and women torture one another in the name of love, where children are scourged and enslaved in the name of parental duty and education. This world must be hell. Oh. That was going to be my favorite part. <laughs> <laughs> I guess my uh, phone battery died. Why don't you just use one of my three fully charged phones? Corey, <laughs> did you listen to anything that inspirational speech Dylan was giving said? It was always meant to be my phone. You got all that from that? <laughs> Who wouldn't? Guys, I'm serious. Whether, whether it's God... Who is a woman? Or... or <laughs> Final, final performance has to be man who finally does something for himself to reclaim his dignity. You know what? I smell a posthumous Oscar award. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
feeding a winter stew on a hot summer night to the love of your life is just that <laughs> no one ate shit. <laughs> <laughs>
waiting. But Dylan is skilled at waiting after all. He's been waiting ages to hear if he ever got a call back. He gave oh, no. forever. Ah, <laughs> 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 uh, yes. Finally, time to take the wrinkled, moist sheets out of the dryer and hang them on the clothesline. My goodness, Dylan must have a teeny tiny carbon footprint since he is not using the energy that a dryer uses. <laughs> ah, yes, another crucial part of doing the laundry, waiting for the clothes to dry. <laughs> series has ever gotten back to him. Oh dear, no one seems to care about web series anymore. <laughs> he probably never got the call back in the first place. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, the clothes are nearly dry now. Time to remove them from the line. Thank you. 